Come on, come on, I need two more. Hi guys, it's nice to see your face again. I know I haven't been around here in a while, but I have some exciting news and I just wanted to catch you guys up because I did a terrible job during the off season, which ended up being a lot shorter than I anticipated. So it is now February. Um, I My last show was in October of last year and I have been in a slight surplus of calories. I have been training really hard. I have been trying to grow as much as possible and Basically, um, I reached out to a different coach just to get some guidance to see what we should do for this next year and kind of plan out my year. And he thinks that I am in a good place to potentially compete in the summer. So I just started a prep. So we are back in prep. It is February. I am going to insert for you guys. I just started it like two days ago. So literally... I'm just finishing out my off season. So I'm going to insert for you guys a little body shot right here so you can see what I've been looking like. Um, and then I will start to tell you a little bit about the program. But first, take a look at what I'm looking like right now. So I'm up about 30 pounds from my stage weight, which is quite a bit of weight, but we were trying to put on as much muscle as possible. So um, like I said, we did go into a little bit of a surplus here. Um, and yeah, that's about where it got me to. Um, it's been quite challenging for me to gain this weight rapidly because uh, it's just when you go from being ripped to all of a sudden putting on 30 pounds in a short amount of time it's a little stressful mostly on your mental health um especially if you're somebody who is doing bodybuilding because if you're doing bodybuilding you are into physiques aesthetic right so you want to look a certain way you like the way you feel when you look a certain way and i know that it's not for everybody and it's not attainable and it's not healthy long term i just prefer my frame in a little bit more of an athletic build more than like this like really full kind of thing um and I know I'm not as as full as I could be and all that kind of stuff whatever I'm just giving you my feelings about my body myself and for me it's a little too full it's a little too like soft you know there's not really any muscle definition right now but I know that you need that size and the food and everything to grow so that's kind of the trade-off right so I'm totally cool with that I'm happy but I am so excited to be back on this prep and to take you guys along with me because this coach has a totally different approach a lot of different things um, that I'm doing that I've never done before super detailed um, all of the things that he's having me do are things that I've I didn't do with my last coach and he's really really um, kind of in tune with what he wants from me he's very specific and I like that because I'm somebody that loves to have like as much information as possible um i ask a thousand questions and he's always there to answer them and just reassure me there's always a reason to why he's doing the things he's doing and i really really enjoy that because i just like to know what's going on so i'm gonna put together a little bit of a video today is saturday i'm gonna just throw together some clips of the next few days so you guys can see what i've you know my life has been looking like and then i'm gonna get back into my weekly uh prep vlogs for you guys because those are always fun and then i can look back and see how all this craziness went down so for now i just finished doing fasted cardio that's one big difference is that he wants fasted cardio so i have to make sure that as many days of the week as possible my cardio is fasted um which is fine by me honestly i was doing a lot of my cardio in the morning anyway so i just have to make sure that i have a gym to go to with a stairmaster because it is stairmaster cardio six days a week right out the gate and um yeah i mean i think this is gonna be great and i'm really excited so i'll bring you guys along we'll see what the next clip is of and um i'm happy to be back i'm really happy to be making videos again for you guys so i'll see you soon so another one of the things that's really different about this coach is that he wants me to take supplements and i'm talking about so many supplements so so many so i have them labeled this is my fasted little bit of supplements so i'm gonna take these and then i've got some for meal one that i'll take 
in a little bit and then there's supplements at every stop so i'm gonna swallow all these pills which i don't really mind i'm not like i don't have a hard time swallowing pills but if you do then i don't know because there is so many like look at this i couldn't even tell you what's what in here because i just sit down and divide them off for the week but i'll show you my supplement cabinet um at some point in this video so you can see it's so many things I'm about to have my breakfast because I am so hungry. So I have two ounces of chicken breast, one egg, and then I have 60 grams of oats with strawberries, gluten-free oats, and uh, like a quarter of a scoop of protein. So it's hardly any protein powder, um, a little bit of stevia, and that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then get the show on the road because now I gotta go to work. The other thing that he wants me to do is daily vacuum practice so here i am practicing my vacuums and of course naturally i have started practicing my posing routine again it's the same routine that i had last time i'm just going with it until i see my posing coach in a couple of weeks but for now i'm just fine tuning this so that i can just stay in the habit of practicing this every single day sorry about the traffic i'm working and doing this voiceover but yeah you get the point posing practice It's so gross. <laughs> it is. Oh, sorry, guys. It's 4:30 right now. I am getting ready to go train. So I'm actually going to. I think I'm getting sick also, or like I am sick already because I sound terrible <laughs> and I'm sniffling. So I actually have my supplements over here and I have them all like separated so I have a little baggie that says fasted so I'm gonna go ahead and take those and then I'm going to um, take a couple of other ones that are the pre-workout ones that I'm supposed to take and yeah get some food in my stomach and uh, I gotta do all this in like 10 minutes so I'm gonna put you guys down so that I can go ahead and do that, but yeah, gotta get the show on the road. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, so meal number one, which is my pre-workout meal, but I'm having it first today because I'm working out now, is um, four ounces of chicken and eight ounces of sweet potato. And then I have some sugar-free uh, sweet chili sauce on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat that on my way to the gym, which I'm running late, so um, I gotta get going. But yeah, that's gonna be my first meal of the day, and I'm gonna show you guys all my meals today. So meal number one, this is it. Guys, I am sick. Like, I have a cold. 
and it's just like hitting me all at once. I'm on my way to work right now. My skin is a wreck. Like I just, it's just like one of those days. You know what I'm saying? My goodness. Um, I have to do cardio later and I don't even know how the heck I'm going to get that done, but whatever, we're going to get it done. I am, uh, I forgot to show you guys one of my meals, but it was oatmeal and strawberries and then one egg and two ounces of chicken breast. So it wasn't that exciting, but I just feel bad because I told you guys I would show you everything. But anyways, um, I am like really feeling like trash. So I'm having some caffeine. Hopefully that'll help me. And I might throw some makeup on because I know that sounds like weird, but like I keep looking at myself and I just look so sick that I think um maybe having some makeup on will help me not look so sick and then not feel so sick give myself like a little trick of the mind so yeah it's not going well i'm not feeling well today's workout this morning though was crazy it was really really good um but yeah i just thought i would check in with you guys it's about noon i'm going back to work I have a really, really easy day at work. Like, so easy. I can't even complain about it. But it's just like, you know when you're sick and you just want to lay around and you don't want to move and you just want to be under a blanket? Like, that's how I feel. So, um, yeah, it should be fine. I am going to... I have to do cardio today. Like, there's no way around it. So, I'm just going to get my cardio done. The intensity might be a little lower, but I'll just get the duration of the time. And then um, try to get as much rest as possible, keep hydrating, all that kind of stuff. Maybe get a Gatorade Zero or something. Uh, for the time being, though, I'm just going to go into work. I mean, I have like an hour of work, you guys. Like, maybe an hour and a half. Like, it's not a big deal at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then um, hopefully have some time to rest because, yeah, starting off the week hot but it's okay it'll either get worse or better from here so we'll see how that goes but i'll check in with you guys in a little bit just thought i'd update you because last time you saw me it was four in the morning and now i'm like dying okay bye So, I put some makeup on, I braided the top of my hair, and you know, did a little thing, and I texted my coach, and I was like, hey, so, you know, I have a mild fever, what should I do? And he kind of gave me some advice, he wants me to go sit in a sauna, lower the intensity of the cardio a little bit, um, and take some mucinex. So, I am about done with work, I have like one more appointment, and then uh, once I finish, I'm gonna take a little break because I'm like toast. And then um, there's a gym with a sauna really close to my last work appointment. So I'm gonna go there, sit in the sauna and do my cardio while I'm there. And um, you know, just knock it out before later because uh, I just can't, I can't gotta get done so yeah i'm gonna go and do that maybe throw my posing shoes on for a few minutes and go into the uh they have like a little room where they teach classes but it's lined with mirrors so i'll probably go in there so i can see myself pose just like a couple of times and uh yeah and i didn't put on any mascara because my eyes are so watery and i just couldn't stand the thought of not being able to rub my eyes so i just didn't do it but it's funny you can still see like the dark circles even though I have freaking concealer and powder and everything on. 
but that's okay I definitely look better than I did earlier guys that was like scary so um yeah I will check in with you guys when I get to the gym and if you guys remember my hair I was growing out a part of it that I had shaved because I had like a kind of like an undercut for like a whole year and this is where we're at so it's looking pretty good I can almost like pick it up with it being undetectable so we're almost there look at that the whole bottom of my hair was shaved which like that just makes me want to cut my hair to that length because I love it but I can't because I really don't want to wear extensions for stage so anyways a lot of rambling um I will see you guys in a bit okay another meal we have some avocado whoops just dropped my spoon that's what I get for trying to hold it and talk we have some avocado I just have one of those like holy guacamole plain avocado cups some ground turkey and some green beans and i got some mustard and some sugar-free ketchup on there so i'm gonna have this now and then take a little rest and then hit the gym okay so the saga continues i ate my lunch you guys saw it and i was taking a little break i'm still sitting in the car and um man i just feel so terrible and I have like two and a half hours before I have to be at work again. So I was gonna go to the gym and stuff, but um, I'm just gonna go home. Like I'm gonna go home, take a break, uh, take some ibuprofen and I can always do cardio tonight after work. So that's what I might do. Um, make sure you listen to your body, you guys. Like listen to your body. Make sure that no matter what anybody says, if you don't feel well or like I have a pounding headache, I have like a migraine right now um don't try to push through because it's just gonna delay you in the long run so i'm gonna go home of course gotta call my boyfriend and ask him if he thinks i'm being dramatic because i'm a little dramatic but no he's like yeah go home and rest so i'm gonna go home and rest not that you need to ask anybody that's not what i'm saying before anybody comes at the woodworks he's my boyfriend is like my best friend so i ask him you know like you would ask any friend my nose is running look at that ew disgusting um anyways i'm gonna go home before my nose starts running again get snot everywhere so yeah listen to your body take care of yourself and fucking pray for me wish me luck because i'm gonna need it to get this cardio done later but it's gonna get done best believe it's getting done hello my beautiful people it is now thursday excuse my appearance but I am feeling so much better. I was sick at the beginning of the week and now I am feeling so much better than I was. I was feeling like absolute crap, um, but I am feeling super good. I lost my train of thought with where I was going with that, but today was my first check-in with my coach, so now we wait for him to send back the check-in feedback and then we see what he had to say. I'm going to put in a clip of me and doing my check-in this morning. I was, it was four o'clock in the morning. I was half asleep, so I'm sorry about my face, but I'm going to put that clip in right here so that you can see what we're working with. So that was me this morning, 4 a.m., checking in, and um, it was hard putting on that suit, let me tell you. Not because 
it was actually hard but just mentally it was hard to see myself here in that suit because when i got it i was already like halfway through prep so i put it on and i had already like shed quite a bit of fat and so now i'm my weight's back up my body fat's obviously back up and um putting that suit on was kind of like messed with my head a little bit so um whatever that's neither here nor there i sent my check-in via email with a list of questions detailed questions asking me how i'm feeling how i'm managing stress how i'm sleeping how my cardio is going etc etc so did all that this morning and now i am finishing up some stuff for work i just did cardio i lifted today that's all i did today it'll probably be the same thing tomorrow and then saturday i'm going to check out a new gym at night or during the day maybe um, because I just realized that my boyfriend wants to lift at night. So we'll see what I end up doing, but I will film a leg day workout for you guys at some point, put it in this video, and then hopefully get this out to you by next week, along with updates about my prep. So we're back on making these videos for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave my handle linked down below in the description box if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis. That's gonna be right down there. So I'll leave that there for you, and that's it that's all the rambling i got uh i got to take some supplements drink some water finish my energy drink and get going so i will catch you guys in a little bit what's up party people happy friday i am feeling tired today i've been taking these uh supplements to help with my stress management and sleep and man they are working a little too well like when i take them late at night i wake up and i'm still kind of like groggy so maybe I need to take them earlier just get the hang of them um check in with the coach got the feedback today we're keeping everything the same for the next week so that's really good my body's responding really really well to everything um, feeling tighter feeling better and struggling a little bit with getting into the rhythm of just eating the foods that are on my plan because I was able to be so flexible for a few months that's something that i will say for me personally i know that everyone is different but for me personally it's much harder to get back into a routine once i break out of it um as far as dieting goes i know that there are people that will argue that it's easier for them to stick to their diet if they know that they have a day where they can like kind of like take some time off and just be a little more flexible and that works for them but definitely that does not work for me. I find that it's so much trickier to navigate like being strict again and um, you know, having like guidelines to follow if I stop following them for a while. So here we are, nevertheless, following the meal plan, doing really well. I'm gonna go to the gym today and train shoulders and lats. I'm gonna try and film that for you guys. Um, and then I'm probably gonna cut this vlog off here for the week kind of take the weekend off to just chill and then I will start fresh on Monday with week two of prep so this is my first week of prep I don't have any kind of plans I don't know how far I am from any show or what's happening I don't have any kind of timeline really so hopefully um you know I'll have a better idea for you guys sometime soon here but for the moment, I just really don't know what's going on. Sorry about the weird angles. I'm trying to navigate some traffic here. So, um, yeah, as far as that goes, that's all that I've got. First week of prep down. I am doing some work right now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And then I will see you guys when we get to the gym. Yeah. See you then. Okay, I'm done rambling. All right, guys, welcome to my lat and shoulder workout. We're gonna start off with some lat pull downs. I did four sets of these, pretty heavy. And then the last set, I did 10 reps at my heaviest weight, which I think was 105 this day. And then I backed off the weight a little bit. Um, I think I went to 75 pounds and then I did 10 reps lighter just to get the volume. So that's what you're gonna see me doing here. I do like to lean back and really feel the contraction in my lats that way, but that's personal preference. Um, 
I think it's the best execution, but that's because I can feel it the best that way, but whatever works for you. So here I am going in for the lighter reps and I'm just gonna go ahead and knock out 10 of those. I do like to use the straps that I have on. Um, these are the fabric ones that you kind of fold over. I don't like these for lifting um, like barbell movements, but I do like them for back day. I found that they work really, really well for that. So I did enjoy using them for this lap hold on because my grip strength sucks. So they definitely help with getting that weight under control. The next thing that I'm doing is some single arm kneeling lat pull downs. I am doing them this way. There's a lot of different variations that you can do. It's kind of like a row and a pull down mixed together. Um, really making sure that I'm initiating the movement from my lat and kind of twisting at the end to really contract in my back. That's what helps me feel it the most and I am supersetting these with some bent over dumbbell rows. Going in with a 50 pound dumbbell here. I didn't go any uh, heavier than this because my back was a little sore and I didn't want to be bent over with a really heavy dumbbell in my hand. So I kept them at 50 pounds, four sets of 10 to 15 reps for both of these. I believe I'm doing 10 reps here, maybe 12. After that, we started working on the shoulders a little bit. Did some military press with the barbell and just some 10 pounds on there. I did four sets of that. Um, started off with just the barbell, did 15 sets just to warm up, and then went up in weight and then pressed my little heart out. I love military press. It's taken me a long time to get strong at this movement, but it's one of my favorite overhead press variations. So I went into that and then I did some uh, partial lateral raises. So what you want to do with these is you want to get three weights, a heavy weight, a moderate weight, and your most manageable working weight. And what you want to do for the first two sets, you want to lock your elbows out and just extend your arms to your sides as far as you can, doing 10 reps each time. The first set you saw there was very limited range of motion for me. The second set, it's a little higher. And then the last 10, you're going to want to do the full range of motion lateral raise like you would any other time. I also did some seated lateral raises that I didn't show and some face pulls in this workout, but pretty much four sets of 12 to 15 for all the exercises. And that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you tune in to the next one for week two of my prep. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys.